running out of money to protect Trump family. We've been combating fake news for quite some time now. Every time the president wants to call someone out on it, they seem to just get offended, and not actually defend the issues that he's calling out. This could be considered confirmation of his accusations, or it could just be denial by the perpetrators. The problem with the fake news industry, also known as the mainstream media, is that for one thing, nobody likes being lied to, and for another, they're using their power to sway people's opinion of important political issues. Since the DNC seems to have put out a political hit on the president, the fake news rumor mill has been in full swing, attempting to turn the American people against him. Since he doesn't have a record in political office that can be picked apart, they've got to get creative and go after something that can be dissected. In this case, it's his family and their travel. It's worth pointing out here that the president and his children aren't demanding that they be protected by the Secret Service. This is a necessity that has become apparent because of the violent nature of those who would do anyone in a high-profile position harm. Because the president has three adult, married children, two of which have children of their own, and the third with one on the way, this has meant more people than average under SS protection. Joseph Curl at The Daily Wire reports. USA Today went big, exclusive. Secret Service depletes funds to pay agents because of Trump's frequent travel, large family. The Secret Service can no longer pay hundreds of agents it needs to carry out an expanded protective mission, in large part due to the sheer size of President Trump's family and efforts necessary to secure their multiple residences up and down the East Coast, said the explosive lead. The scoop came from Secret Service Director Randolph Texales who in an interview with USA Today said more than 1,000 agents have already hit the federally mandated caps for salary and overtime allowances that were meant to last the entire year. The president has a large family, and our responsibility is required in law, Ailes said. I can't change that. I have no flexibility. Under former President Obama, 31 people were protected by the Secret Service. Under Trump, the number rose to 42 including 18 family members. CNN got all we weed up with the exclusive, Secret Service can't pay agents for Trump and his family, report says. Lots of other mainstream media outlets followed the salacious story, Trump and his family are bankrupting America. But it turns out the whole story was plain old fake news. Ailes, in clarification to USA Today's breathless report later said funding for roughly 1,100 agents working overtime in 2017 is not an issue that can be attributed to the current administration's protection requirements alone, but rather has been an ongoing issue for nearly a decade due to an overall increase in operational tempo. The Secret Service has the funding it needs to meet all current mission requirements for the remainder of the fiscal year and compensate employees for overtime within statutory pay caps he said in the statement. And here's the really interesting part, it doesn't matter now that the story was shut down. Trump and his family didn't cause the problem, it's existed for a decade. But the story, the fake report, that Trump and his family are to blame, is out there now, alive on the interwebs. Let's be clear, there's nothing inherently wrong with the president having a large family. He didn't make plans 30-plus years ago to have extra kids just so he could stretch the Secret Service thin. Even if these allegations were true, the fault would lie with those making attempts on the president and his family's lives, not with the family. The president's kids and their kids haven't done anything wrong, they're all minding their own business. Perhaps the funding for the Secret Service should be compared with all the national debt that the president has decreased. Maybe that would make everyone feel better. That, however, probably won't get a lot of airtime, considering that doesn't fit the narrative. Thank you for watching this video. What do you think about this? Share this on Facebook and Twitter along with your comments. comments.